Hi folks, I'm Josh and welcome to Zemo. This is a game about animation and robotics that I absolutely think is, is just so cute. We get to control a little robot called Zemo. We in fact get a whole bunch of robots that have varying degrees of difficulty. So there's a dog, there's a little kind of ant, and you get to create motions for it. I didn't save the waving one. Oh well, let's go through the tutorials and figure out how to play this, because so far I've only just messed with it in this mode. So, uh, screen rotation, yeah, we got that. We have joint control, and then we get to rotate it. Oh, a little bit of aerobics there, good. These little bars on the right control how the joint rotates. It also has things like how strong it is, or, you know, if it's weak, it'll get moved by other stuff. And you control more than one at once, okay. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Doesn't even need a bar to do the, the leg ups. Wait, it's not, what is that? Whoa, oh, I, j I think I just made him kick himself in the face. <laughs> Let's try that again. That was awesome. So we have points along a timeline that change the position of the joints between them. So if it's here, if your arm is here in the first one, then you change the second one over here to like that way. And then you press uh, go it'll move between those two points. And all you have to do to make it more interesting from there is just change the number of points you have and the number of things that change. So you could do a really complicated walking animation with this. You can do it so that they're moving opposite directions. That's very useful, very cool as well. So <laughs> that's a good start for a walking animation. Left shoulder joint, uh, which one's left? That one. And then right shoulder. And now if you play those, it's a very, well, it's half a walking animation. You can take one right step. You'd probably go around in circles if you did that. Now we're gonna try and rotate a bunch of stuff. Uh, left shoulder and right shoulder. What are we rotating? X slider to around minus 120. Wait, where's minus 120? <laughs> Whee! It looks like he's trying to jump, except he's not using his knees. What's minus 120? Minus 120. There we go. And then turn that off. And drop it. And now we play. See what happens. Oh, that's cool and gross. <laughs> what have we done to you? <gasps> oh, Sammy. Wait, the game called is called Zemo. What's Zemo got to do with it? What's Zemo got to do? Got to do? <laughs> Return him! Return him to a safe little cage! Whew, that was scary! Now it's time for some challenges. Is it possible to get Zemo... I know, I've loaded in a pre-made crawling animation here. So hopefully, this will work! And we'll be able to get to the end. Oh, where's the start? There we go. Top right. Uh... Nope, nothing happened. Alright. Zemo's crawling. Gotta learn to crawl before you can walk. And in this case, I didn't actually learn to crawl. I... I totally just took this. There's some templates here, which is pretty cool. Walking start and walking end. What? Oh no, whoops. You do that one. <laughs> Go! <laughs> That's gonna take a very long time. I found a walking animation. Come on, dude. You walk your way there. No, restart. Damn. Let's try something with a lot less limbs and a lot less complications. Uh, Fido here is going to help us out. Not the most attractive dog I've ever seen, but... Uh, where we go? Motion creation. Uh, do you have a template? No, can't just steal it. Right, let's make a new one. I'm not entirely sure where to start, but I think if we select that one and that one and get the back right one to go the opposite direction, we can have something that's at least similar to walking animation. And how far does that go? Minus 45, there we go. Let's make it exact, because we want to go in a straight line here. That one, there. Minus 45, ooh, no. Let's just go 45 that way. No, is that right? No, that. And then we kind of want these to do like a a walky thing, just to make it easier. Let's start at the beginning. This one and this one 
are about to make their first step. So if we select those and make them a little bit tighter so they don't catch on the floor and then then they start a step like that. That's the motion they make. It hopefully not quite as f quick and flicky as that. How quick does that happen? That's uh yeah. Probably need some work, but it's a good start. And then one just after that where this and this move forward so that they won't catch on the ground when they when they move forward again. So meanwhile, the other two legs they will have been in the process of moving us forward. I think I made something, so let's give it a whirl. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Maybe with, within the safety of the gravity well. It looks kind of like a gallop. Let's turn it, let's turn it on. Let's see what happens. Oh, he ends up on his back. Damn. That wasn't very good, so I've got another idea. Scrap this one and start again. This one, this one, this one, and this one all have to move. Well, let's re reset them all. They all have to move at the same time. So, we can't have them just kind of rotating like that. All in there. <laughs> because otherwise they just get in each other's way. Look. So, we can use the anti motion to make them do like a little walk. Like that. That seems simple enough. So, let's find them a position where they won't get in the way. That one there. And then duplicate that there. What, what degree was that? That's 30. If we flick those secondary joints back, that, that seems like a normal walking animation, doesn't it? No. Wait, what's going on there? That's not quite right, but I'm interested to see what's going to happen anyway. Oh, it falls over. Damn. Okay, I think I know what's going wrong here. <laughs> Do I? No, I don't. Ah, oh, this is so hard. It's really hard. I didn't think this would be easy, but I didn't think it would be so difficult. Making a robot. Who would have thought? Those, you see the gifs over at Boston Dynamics of them like making robots that can open doors and climb over rough terrain? Pfft, easy. Right? Easy. No, I can't make this dog walk. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Looks like they're making them do a cabaret. Ooh, there's a bit of flourish to that one. What's going wrong? <laughs> They're all doing weird joint-breaking backflips. What? Well, let's uh, let's call this walk? Question mark, and and save it, and see what happens when we do it. It falls over. Who would have guessed? These ones are about to make. Whoops. Da -da -da. Wait, 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 wait. Oh god, that's hideous. It's like your leg's mega broken, man. Let's reset all your joints. You know what? Walking's hard. I do it every day, but clearly it's too much for me. So, I am going to do something else. Called jumping. Okay, how's this gonna work out? It 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 seems kinda rubbish, but let's try it anyway. All you need to do is go in a straight line. No <laughs> Force yourself Throw yourself throw your weight. Let's try when it's a bit quicker. Mm, go. Go! It's it's slightly more successful. It's slightly more successful. But you're not going in the right direction. Let's uh, rethink this. I've given up. I've chosen a even less complicated robot. 
Let's go here with a new motion on the floor. Or anywhere. You know, show me them joints. Ah, this one's supposed to be like a spider. You see, you see that? That's kind of cool. Way simpler, I think. Uh, so, reset that, and let's, let's give it a go. This is going to reach forward, and it's going to be aided by this. Oh, and while that one reaches forward, this one is gonna re pull backwards, or push backwards even. And that one, because it's not gonna help if that one isn't in the air, that one's gonna drag on the floor otherwise, that one's gonna go there. So that one is gonna have already pushed just there, so it's gonna be pushing there. Good. And then, we don't need to duplicate it. But we do need to do the opposite of what's going on here, so... 23. That way. Do a little booty will. That one can come... down... and back. Because this one is reaching... front. And then, and then I think I got it! Look at it! It's, it's not great. This <laughs> is not great. Hang on. This leg's doing something funky. Uh, so there. That needs to be on the floor. We've got these two phases to transition between, but I think I need to add another step just after that one. So this there can be used to plop the legs on the floor uh, and pull it back. So this one goes up in the air, so it stops being on the floor, sort of thing. But this one's in the way. Ah! Out the way. Up. There we go. And then we swap! Duplicate that, just a second later. There we go. Have we got a little scuttle going on? Yeah, we kind of have! Oh, that's brilliant! Let's start the level. Let's just see what happens. I don't even care. I have made a robot move! Hooray! I've learned to animate. I've ro learned, like, robot mo This is actually gonna get the thing done. I might actually get it done! No, you're veering off course! Come on, you can do it, little robot! No. Well, you made it to the end. So I'm gonna count that as a win. You! You are one... You, you got a sexy booty wiggle there. Good job! This is not easy, but if you want to learn about 3D animation or robotics and how, you know, joints move, stuff like that, this is such a cool project. It's not finished yet, but you can get uh, the current version off of itch.io, link in the description. Like if you've enjoyed this video, because I've had a lot of fun, even though it's been extremely frustrating being bad at this, I've learned a lot. So until next time, Mustache. Just bashing your face on the wall there. Okay, well I made you, so you're probably not that smart.